In 1848, two massive vessels named the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terror disappeared with hundreds of men aboard in the frozen Arctic waters, never to be heard from again. So what happened? Could modern tech help us discover the fate of these two missing ships and their crew? Let's find out in today's episode of Colossal Mystery. On the 19th of May, 1845, two ships left port from England with 128 souls aboard. They were under the command of Captain Sir John Franklin. Their mission was to locate a passageway through the icy maze north of Canada known as the Northwest Passage. If found, the Northwest Passage would allow ships to travel from the Atlantic to the Pacific without needing to sail all the way around South America. Franklin's expedition was outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment, and their two ships, nicknamed the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terror, were ice-strengthened and reinforced with heavy beams and plates of iron to withstand even extreme Arctic conditions. About two months after setting sail, both ships were seen entering the Northwest Passage and vanishing into the icy tangle. All 128 of the brave people on board were never seen again. So what happened? Why did such advanced ships disappear without a trace? And what happened to the doomed crew of the Franklin expedition? After several years without word from either ship, a group led by Sir John Franklin's wife pressed the English government to launch a search party, which they finally did three years after the expedition first launched. In several different spots, they found clues that only added to the intrigue. Three graves, an abandoned sled, two skeletons, some strange hard-to-read letters, and one key hint, a note written by the crew that declared Franklin and 23 other men dead. It also said the ship had been trapped in the ice for well over a year, and the survivors were planning to abandon ship and try to find their way across the Arctic tundra. Six years later, a Scottish explorer named John Ray made a discovery that added another layer to this morbid mystery. While exploring uncharted areas of northern Canada, John Ray met several local Inuit families who told him terrible tales about the grim fate of the Franklin party. They said that four winters ago, they had seen at least 40 non-Inuit people dragging a small boat full of supplies south across the ice. Using hand gestures, the haggard men told them that their ships had been crushed by ice and they were heading south in search of animals to hunt. When the Inuits came back in the spring, they found at least 30 of the men frozen and dead. For the next 160 years, these stories were the only evidence experts had as to what might have happened to Franklin and his doomed expedition. But in 2014, all of that changed when Canadian search teams discovered the wreckage of Erebus, hidden deep in Arctic waters. Two years later, the wreck of terror was found as well, in near-perfect condition. So sadly, it seems as though Franklin and his crew slowly died off, one by one, as they tried in vain to trudge their way through unforgiving terrain in search of safety. But we'll never know for sure there's always a chance that they could have found a way to survive.